Welcome to a new course on how to implement NGRX into a application. And this course is going to be about 45 videos long. That's why I got done up to this point. I'm thinking about adding another module onto this course. And if you're interested in getting this project, you can find it on GitHub. And by the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to download it, set it up on your machine, run it. And also we'll check out a few things within this course or within the application, like how to log in, things like that. So this is a finished version of the application. And if you open up the developer tools, and I'll be showing you how to set this up and go to Redux. And as you can see, we have a bunch of actions already being dispatched. And if we look at our current state, we have four states, customer support, the auth state. So like when we log in, we save the user to the store, things like that. I'll, I'll be showing you how to set that up the router state and the product state. And there's two accounts you can log in as. Like if we go up here and you have the login form you could go to or the login modal. Now the reason I went ahead and set this up was because I wanted to show you different side effects you can implement using NGRX. And I wanted to show you something with the modal. So that's why I went ahead and added this in. So you can log in as the user and the admin. And this is kind of fake. Like I have like this fake server. And I'll be showing you that throughout the course. But if you log in as the user and you can put in any password, it doesn't matter. It doesn't actually validate your password. Then you log in, you get sent off to the shopping page and then you get add and remove things to your shopping cart, as you can see there. And then if you log out and log in, you can log in as the admin and you'll notice a little difference here. And as you can see up here, you can see the admin link now. And if you go to the products page, and this is where you can manage the products. So if you make any changes here, it will reflect within our store. So let's open up the, the uh, store again. And let's update one of our products. So I'm going to update the first one here. And we'll just add a couple to the quantity. doesn't really matter. And then edit product. And as you can see, our actions are dispatched. And then if you select the correct action, and it's this one right here. So when you, we successfully update our product and we look at the difference from the last state to the current state, we can see that we updated our product. So it's being updated correctly within our store. Also, this will reflect when we log in and log out. So let me show you that real quick. So if you click on the log out button, you'll notice a action being dispatched down here. And it's right here. You select that. And what that does is it clears out the user from the store. Again, let's log back in again. And I'll log in as the admin again. And you can see that within the store as well. So the action is right here, login user success. And as you can see here, we're adding the user to the store. Now you might notice a bunch of side effects like the alert message system off to the right here. Like, for example, when we select a cart or add, add an item to the cart, all this is being handled by NGRX. Also, that spinner you see in the center here, if we go back to the admin products page, that spinner here, that is being handled by our side effects as well. So that's being handled by our side effects through NGRX. So let's go ahead and install this from GitHub and set it up on our machine. If you go down in the description, you'll find this link down in the description. If you click on that, you'll end up on this page. So let's go ahead and clone this. So I'll click on code, copy this to the clipboard. I already have the command line open. And I'm just going to clone this to the desktop. I'm going to be deleting it. So enter in git clone, paste in the repository, and install it. While we're here, let's go ahead and install a bunch of packages we're going to need. So first navigate into the folder and the folder is called NGRX course. Once you're in the folder run npm install and this will take a few minutes. After you're done installing all your packages, let's check it out within Visual Studio Code. So inside the editor, your files should look something like this. So what we're interested in right now is firing up the application. And you might be tempted since we're in an Angular application to run ng-serve, but you don't want to run that. You want to run npm run dev. If I open this up, and I went ahead and set this up so we could fire up the server and also the Angular application at the same time. 
So whenever you're firing up the application, you want to run npm run dev. So let's do that. I'll open up the command line and npm run dev. Now let's open up the browser and make sure the application is firing up without a problem. Now if you go to your browser and you enter in localhost 4200 and you should see this and everything should be working just fine. You should even also be able to log in. So if you want to log in, you need to enter in username or admin and you won't get an error. And then it doesn't matter what password you enter in. So this is just a fake login. It does use the database though. And then you put in a password and you should see user at the top, right? This should all be working just fine. And then if you go log out again and log in using the admin, this should be working just fine as well. And again, put in any password that you want. It should work just fine. And you should see the admin up here in the top right corner. So we have the application running without a problem. So what if you want to go back to the beginning of the course? Well, you could easily do that. If we go back to the repository and what you want to do is click on the commits and go all the way back to uh, the beginning. So I'll go back to the older. And what you're looking for is video seven. That is where we start actually adding code to the project. So let's uh, copy this commit number. Back inside the terminal, I'll open up a new terminal and run git checkout and then paste in the commit number. And that should jump you back to the beginning. If we check this out in the browser, and the browser should automatically refresh if we go back to the homepage. And it did. So you should only see down to module three and video seven or whatever commit number you added in. And now you're all ready and set up for video two. So in video two, what we'll do is review some of the assets that are available to you and how to get the most out of this course. And we'll go over that in the next video.